Okay, now strings are immutable. Uh, this is a little example that I want to show. Um, and just ignore at the moment all the stuff that's happening in here, like because this might look confusing with the quotes and the double quotes. But let's say we initially had a string. Now, if you can still remember strings, this is basically just seen as one long string. Even though we see a space there, the system doesn't see that space, it counts as, as a character. So this is just one long space of whichever length long. Now, we want to add a new species of apes, the Macaca fascicularis, to this string. Um, and we've, we've done that, we've used, used concatenation and we've added this part to it. Now, again, don't get confused, it's just I want to add this, but because this already has this around it, um, I should have actually deleted this, but this is just to show you something. Um, okay, so this was your string originally. Um, if I, I'm going to print this, let me just close that quickly. And then I modified it by adding this to it and I'm printing the string again so that you can see how it looks different now. Okay, then I do the same thing to lists. Um, I had your list populated with three items and then you added this new ape and I print that, right? And you can see that this looks different. But now what I want to show you is this part here. So I'm going to close the printing of this because I want to show you, it may seem like you've, in this case, you have a string, you modified it, and it looks like, if you just look at what's given to you on the screen, it looks as if you've actually changed what is inside the string. And then when you look at the list, it looks the same. It looks like the list first looked like this, then you added something, and then you printed it the second time, and it looked different. This is the result of the two lists. You can see that they're surrounded by brackets. And this is the result of the string before and after you did the modification. Now I want to show you, if I print, now all of these variable names are stored somewhere in your computer in a memory. You can look at it as if it's a PO box, right? So, or like that bag that we had, you stored it in a, at a PO box that has its own lock and key, and you know at which address you have your PO box. So if I print this string, you will see that it's got that assigned to it, right? Let me close that for now. I think actually maybe this was where the problem was because the scene is showing something there. Anyway, um, let me show you first the lists so that you can see. So the lists, you think it's exactly the same. So if it is the same, then it should have the same memory allocation to it. It should have the same memory ID or PO box assigned to it because it's exactly the same bag, right? And that is the case with the list, right? They, you can see that this, this, this number that was given here is exactly the same. But now with string, it also looks like it's the same. But if you actually look at it and I print those two out, you will see that the first string so ID is different to the second one because what you thought you did was you thought you modified the string, but you didn't. You actually created an entirely new variable and string. So strings are not mutable. You can't just go and change whatever's in there um, um, and nobody notices. Um, but with lists, you are able to do that. You are actually changing what is inside that bag. Um, with strings, you are creating a new bag. And it's, it's important to note, especially you might find when you start to write your code, you're going to run into some errors and you don't know what's happening because you think you did something to the list that you didn't, but just be careful with that. Um, and again, I'm showing this example again. Here's your list. You've got your three items or elements in there. You then say list.append and you think that you can just create another name um, ahead of that. But if, if you print it, you cannot rename this to something else. Even though it looks the same, same name, in fact, you can't have two variables named with the same things in it. 
So you can't do that. You just have to say list.append and that's it. It will append this list. No new assigning of names.